The Google Spreadsheets integration allows your chatbot to send or receive data from a Google Spreadsheets with zero coding required. It's commonly used for lead generation, as it helps you store the information gathered on the chatbot, like the email, name, and phone number. So let's jump right in and see how to set up the Google Sheets integration in your Lambda chatbots. We have this simple chatbot created. Basically, we start by asking for the name, email, and phone number. Now we arrive at the end of the questioning, and our goal is to store all this information on our Google Spreadsheet. For that, go on and create a Google Sheets block after the last question. Add your account, and give the permissions for the chatbot to make changes to your Google Sheet. Select the Google Sheet you want to store the information on. I created this one with one column for each question I want to store. Back in Lambog, select also the sheet you want to store the information on. Select the option to insert a new row. The block can also update an already existing row or get data from the file. In this case, we want to store the information by inserting a new row. Now, just select the column on your spreadsheets file and the respective variable. Make sure that each question block on your bot has the variables created and linked to the question. You can check that by going into each question block and down here, see if it's created and linked to the question. Once the block is ready, you are good to go. So let's give it a test. I'll put my name, an email, and a phone number. And going back to the Google Sheets, as you can see, the information is stored. It's that simple. Now, with the Spreadsheets block or any other integration you might be using, like Airtable or HubSpot, the information will not be sent until the flow reaches that respective integration block. So for users that drop off and leave the chatbot in the middle, all the information that they shared up until that point will not be stored. So for that, a good practice is having multiple Google Sheets blogs or, as I said, any other integration block that you might be using, one after each question you want to store. This way, you make sure that the information shared by the user prior to leaving is also stored. To do that, in the first block, we will want to create a new row. Actually, I'm thinking that I'll add it after the email block question, because for me, just having the name isn't useful. So let's add here a Google Spreadsheets block that creates a new row and add the name and email. Keep in mind that the block has two outputs. Green output is for when the action was successfully completed by the block, and red for when an error occurred and couldn't perform the action you asked for. We will connect the green output. And after the phone question block, I'll change the action to update a row on the sheets. For that, we need an identifier or reference column. Instead of using the name, I recommend using the email, for example as they are unique. This way, you make sure that you're updating the right row. And if we test now, I'll put a random name, an email, and you'll see that it's being updated while the chatbot is running, so name and email will be stored. Now, if the user leaves the conversation, we will have that information stored, which is great. Let's keep going, and if we add the phone, you'll see that the information will be updated and stored correctly. Cool, right? Now, to end things off, keep in mind that we're able to manage our Google Sheets integration inside the Integrations tab, where you'll find all your accounts linked in your workspace. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful to set up the Google Spreadsheets integration on your Lambda chatbots. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm Nick from Lambda, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.